A new today, the Taliban says it's growing its military arsenal thanks to the U.S. The Taliban posted pictures of hundreds of military vehicles. These were abandoned by the U.S. during its chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan in 2021. Well, the Taliban claims to have repaired and put back to use around 300 of them. The Department of Defense estimates $7 billion worth of military equipment purchased by the U.S. was left behind in Afghanistan. So joining us now is Colonel Daniel Davis, senior fellow and military expert at Defense Priorities. Colonel Davis, thank you as always for being with us. Uh, the Taliban is claiming to have put hundreds of these uh, back into use. If that is in fact true, how concerning is that to you? Well, yeah, that, you hit the, uh, the right part first there, if it's true. Uh, all those pictures they showed just show vehicles in a line uh, parked in a, in, a, in a parking lot. So it's not clear that they're actually all running. Uh, but it's entirely possible that, that many of them, they could, for example, you know, take parts from one and make another one work, et cetera. Uh, but you see from these photographs, I mean, these are basically trucks, uh, some lightly armored vehicles, and, and they're being used by the Taliban for the same reason we sent them to the Afghan National Security Forces, which was the internal security of their country. So these pose no threat to the United States. It poses no threat to anybody outside of Afghanistan. And, and the other thing, though, it, even if they got some of these to work with no spare parts and no expert uh, maintenance personnel, because these things are pretty complicated, they're not going to last very long and they're not going to continue running. So it's, it's going to be a deteriorating asset no matter what. Okay. Well, I mean, is it common practice for, you know, the U.S. to leave this amount of military equipment behind? Uh, not oh, only this no. amount, but I mean, $7 billion worth. And this is, you know, arguably a pretty hostile environment. <laughs> yeah, no, of course not. It, it's a, it was a complete disaster the way it went down uh, because all of this was expected to last for a long time. And we had, you know, long-term maintenance act, uh, contracts that were, you know, to keep them running. Uh, but because of the extreme rapidity with which the Afghan government and military collapsed, and we only had 2,500 troops there at the time, and, and it was just almost physically impossible to go around and destroy all these vehicles, we couldn't even get there. So that's the reason why we didn't even have a chance. Although, uh, you know, I saw that uh, some of the Pentagon spokesmen at the time said, oh, yeah, all the vehicles were rendered inoperable. And, well, that's probably not true. Yeah. I, I mean, is there anything uh, that the U.S. can do about it at this point? No, there, there's not, and nor do we need to. It, it's not any threat to us. Uh, and like I said, it's a, a diminishing capability. It's going to wear itself out. They don't have replacements. But all it does is give them the chance to, to drive around within their own country. So it really poses no threat to us whatsoever. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.